Hello everyone. Now we will continue and verify the data into Mara and MAKT table because we have to check our last step is also for the data migration is we need to verify the data into SAP. This is our last step. We have to check the accuracy of the data. We know whenever we are creating the materials, materials will go to Mara and MAKT table. So firstly, we will check Mara table. I will go to Mara table. I will display the contents of the Mara table. Now, what is the first material? PMAT 6, PMAT 2, PMAT 3, PMAT 4 and PMAT 5. These are the five materials which we passed from the legacy. Now, if I will go for execution, you can see we have the five materials. We have the date. We have the time. This is my ID. Now, if I will go next, you can see industry sector P pharmaceuticals material type P R O H means raw material B K H M additional. And you can see the unit of measurement is EA. Now we will see the descriptions in MAKT table that description is successfully processed or not. I will pass the same to same material here also. Two, three, four, five. If I will go for execution, you can see this is the correct description also. So means our data is successfully processed. We have checked the accuracy of that data also. The accuracy, that data is extremely accurate. Now, we just used the all screen mode of BDC, all screen mode of call transaction method, the best word if I will say, and you are able to see screen by screen processing of each and every record. Suppose I am using N mode and we will see how N mode is giving us the output. In the Excel or in the, uh, in the legacy data, I will change the material number because if I will use the same material, I will get an error. It's already existing. So I'll simply change the material so that we can see the result. Suppose I'm saying PMAT 50, 51, 52, 53, 55. Same. Now we will upload these five materials, but now we are using the no screen mode of call transaction. If I'm uploading, if I will go for execution, you can see no screen. We are not able to see any screen. We directly got the result result. And we can check these materials in Mara and MAKT table. Are they uploaded successfully? If I will go for PMAT50 to PMAT54, this is what we created. This is our data. I will confirm. Yes. 51, 52, 53, then we have 55. Okay, anyways, 54, it's not created, so it will not come. You can see P mat 50, 51, 52, 53, 55. This is the material type. This is the industry sector. And this is our unit of measurement. I will check the description in MAKT table. 
P mat 50 to P mat 55. And you can see correct descriptions, correct. Now, we will go for our third mode of call transaction also. What is our third mode for call transaction? It is error mode, error. If there is a error while uploading the data, it will show you the screen where the error is. If there is no error, we will directly get the output. Suppose what I will do, I will pass the wrong data so that we can get the error and you can recognize how error mode is working. Suppose rather than EA, I will pass the unit of measurement EA1. EA1 is nothing. It's a wrong unit of measurement. So we will see how it is working and how it will give us the error. Now we will upload this wrong data and we will see, is it giving us the screen where the error is? I will go for execution and you can see we clearly got the error where we got the screen where the error is. EA1 is a wrong unit of measurement. PMAT56, wrong unit of measurement. EA. Now we will go for, I will just simply close this. So in case of error, if there is a error, it will show you where the error is. Now, suppose I will correct the unit of measurement. So that you can clearly understand if there is no error. If there is no error, if you are using E mode, how you are getting the result. If there is an error, it showed us the screen where the error is. If there is no error, then how E mode is working. If I will upload, you can see we will directly get the result. So our five materials successfully created, or you can understand in a way also error mode is combination of all screen and no screen. If there is a error, it will take you to the screen where the error is. If there is no error, we will not get any screen. We will directly get the output. We can check these materials in Mara and MAKT table because this is the major step to verify the data. I will verify the data in Mara and MAKT table PMAT 56 to PMAT 60. Everything is there. Okay, will not go. So you can see PMAT 6 is extra material. Okay. It was created previously. This is our industry sector. This is our material type. This is our industry sector. This is our unit of measurement. And you, we can check in MAKT table also. The same to same thing. PMAT 56 to PMAT 60. And you can see we have the correct descriptions also. So what we learned in this video, we uploaded the data and we understood the all modes of the call transaction method, all screen mode and no screen mode and error mode. And we saw how these all modes are working. So that is the end of the topic called transaction method of BDC. In the next video, we will start with the session method of BDC. Thank you.